What are the two moves every golfer is searching for? I think I know them. I've seen this happen in so many of my online lessons and so much feedback from golfers wanting to do these two things. Shorten the backswing and separate and get the lower half to start the downswing. We all know they're the routes to our better golf. This is how you can do it. But before that, this is your final chance to enter the Golf Buddy Watch giveaway. As I said on yesterday's video, I put a, a post up probably about two or three weeks ago now asking would you prefer a watch or a laser? You all came out with watch on top. So to enter this and to win the Golf Buddy Watch, I think I'd tell you now, would you? Stick around to the end and I'll tell you how you can do it. Let's get into the first move we're searching for. How do you shorten your backswing? A big question so many golfers are after because I know a lot of you believe that, and it's true, if it gets too long, we all stand up, it feels like we're a long way from the golf ball and we've got to try and find the golf ball on the way down. So to start with, this is the, one of the main factors to why so many golfers find it hard to shorten their backswing. Too many golfers just try and shorten their backswing by simply swinging their arm shorter. Now, this will get you all out of time, all out of sync, and will maybe make you hit the golf ball worse. Yes, I said worse. Because why a lot of golfers find that their backswing is long is because up to first parallel here, the upper half and lower half have already done most of the turn and can't really turn much further, so they complete their swing by just lifting their arms. So if I showed you that right here, turned all really early, can't go any further, we lift the arms. So by lifting the arms, essentially these arms are lifting up, not working around our body, and we're not working our body with a stretch. That stretch and staying in posture shortens the swing without shortening the swing. Paradox. Madness. So what we need to do is, and this is what you look at all the top players in the world is, they have separation on the backswing and the downswing. So what we're looking for, we're gonna go round numbers here. We're gonna say so many golfers up to this point are gonna be 40 degrees open, really open. Shoulders can't go much more, maybe go another 20, 30 degrees, and they lift their arms up, okay? What I want you to feel is that we start the swing by separating it all together. So the first point to do this is to grab the golf club in both hands, bring it to the side of you, start the golf swing by keeping your hips pointing at the ball, and I want you to pause when your hands get just short of nine o'clock position, okay? Right, okay, so now I'm really starting to build that resistance. Bring the hands together, now complete the swing by turning around ourselves. Look at this now. I've got the top of my back swing. I can't swing any further. I can't lift my hands up anymore. I've got a real feeling of stretch through this area. And what I want you to feel is, in the swing, you actually do have that coiling happening. If you have that coil, those arms will swing shorter and much better. But not swing shorter just because you're wanting to swing them shorter. They swing shorter because you're getting the body to move better. So let me show you that again. So what we're trying to do is feel that separation into golf posture, not get everything turning all together too early. I know a lot of us are apprehensive and we know we want to get that turn. So I think this is where that comes from. All done, can't turn anymore on the golf swing. Well, I can't leave my hands here. You have to swing up. So get in here. This is how I want you to practice it at home, or on the range, it's a bit of a drill. And then we'll talk about how you can hit some shots away with it. Club up, bring it to the side. Lower half stays still, upper half starts it. Hands together, 90, 45 split between lower and upper. I can't swing any further. So applying this to a shot, I think we use this good example, Justin Thomas. Like we see him so many times, if I think of his swing, is that pause halfway back every single time. And I, I, that's what I picture. Now, I don't think he's probably using it for this, but I think for you at home, you can really appreciate what he's doing here in terms of he's trying to get a feeling in his swing. So I want you to try this as well. I want you to stand here, up, up, upper half just doing the work, lower half staying quite still, then up, lower half gets involved, we've got that separation, then we can hit that golf ball away. Really shorten your swing 
as a result of staying in posture and feeling that coil. Now time to move on to the second part and a great drill for separation. The question we're all searching for, how do you start the downswing with the lower half? Well, I think this is the best way to do it and we're gonna jump to the face on perspective because you can see it a lot easier. Get into goal posture, golf club across our chest. Now, you'll also notice I've got some alignment sticks down on the ground. Blue one, my feet line. Yellow at a 45 degree to the blue. Red at a 45 degree to the blue. So what I want you to feel is that we get this almost working on both aspects, backswing and downswing here. Upper half starts, lower half collected through the backswing. My arms now can't swing any shorter. What I want you to feel is that we get the hips back to the blue and back to the red, but we try and feel as though we're keeping our chest in this direction for as long as possible. So we're really working on the X factor stretch. And that's that difference between the lower and the upper. And we've almost got to feel if I put this this way, get top of the backswing, hips and shoulders have turned like this. I want you to feel the hips being my glove hand and this finger here, they turn as much as they can, this stays pointing in this direction. So my chest being this knuckle here, that way, keep them pointing in that direction. I appreciate that might look like really kind of complicated and probably not great, so I'll, I'll show you again over here. What I'm looking for you to feel is, imagine the middle of my chest where my microphone is, can I keep that pointing in this direction for as long as possible and get my hips working down to the level, belt buckle to the blue, belt buckle down the red. So up, Keep in that direction, keep it, keep it, keep it, until it has to come through, then bring it through. And that's, for me, the best way you can feel that stretch. One, it'll help you train it. Two, it'll help you actually <laughs> develop that flexibility. And three, I think it'll give you a real good feeling to start your downswing. Now, as well as watching today's video and finding out how to create those two moves, shorten the swing and start the lower half for the downswing, we all know you want to be how to win this, right? We all know you want to win this. I, it is a really good prize. So with this, as well as entering, it'd be great if you comment down below, what would be the biggest feature you would use this for? Would you be just be bothered about how far it is to the hole, or is the middle, or would you use it for front and back? Smash those comments down below, I'd love to know. But to enter, come on, let's tell you, to enter and to win this Golf Buddy watch, and by the way, it will come with two different straps. I personally like it with the black, as you can tell. I don't really wear much colour. Uh, <laughs> so to win this, it's really easy. Follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you head over to Golf Buddy UK on Instagram and give those a follow. And for an extra entry, share this video with three friends and comment hashtag shared down below. Best of luck, because by the way, the winner is announced in three hours time. Good luck.